Welcome back everyone to coverage of event one of the 2016 Borgata Poker Open. Day 1C just wrapped up and we're here with Joey Galazzo who bagged in, bagged at the end of the day. How'd your day go? Um, my day went better than yesterday. Um, I busted yesterday to go set over set with about 15 minutes left. So I ended up bagging today, so definitely better. About 20, little over 20 bigs. Now, has this put you in a fairly good position confidence-wise coming into day two? I mean, obviously a lot can happen, but are you comfortable playing 20 bigs? Yeah, absolutely. In this kind of tournament, I'm, I'm super comfortable playing anything over like 15 bigs because you could shoot it up right away. And, you know, if you get it in the right spot, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable. Yeah, and from you, we know you recently took a break away from the game at the start of the year, and you've recently made your return. Can you tell us a little about that break you took and how you how you think your play has kind of changed since you came back? Sure. Um, well, I took a break uh, about the first week of February um, just to try to get healthy. It was uh, getting really big, and so I uh, took about a four-month break from poker, and uh successfully lost almost 80 pounds so far so i'm really happy with that and um just one quick note i just want to thank everybody on twitter because everybody was super supportive for um you know with that decision so then i came back in the uh in june for the summer poker open here and uh, i still haven't cashed i haven't got that second cash yet this year i got one moon min cash early this year at another casino and i still i'm looking for cash number two so um so the play has been a little uh, i guess i'm a little rusty <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we know that yeah, Twitter was definitely cheering for you as you as you gradually made your return back to the felt. And since you've made your return, have you noticed any immediate differences in how you feel when you play and just the ability to play more hours and also mentally stay strong longer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I had like I was eating all this, you know, the the stuff that poker players normally eat, you know, hamburgers and cheeseburgers and pizza on your ten minute breaks and everything, and that stuff is very draining. So I have a lot more energy now, which is good. Um, I used to fall asleep at the table, you know, before and all that other stuff. I had no energy, and I just feel like, um, yeah, more mentally clear. You know, I'm not always, um, you know, little things like sitting for 12 hours, my back wouldn't hurt. You know, it's little things like that that make it. Um, it's, I definitely notice notice that, and it's hopefully it'll help my game out in the long run, even if it hasn't yet in the short run. And for someone who's looking to embark on a similar venture to get themselves back in the shape they want to be in, what advice would you have for them, especially if there's someone who, who's at the poker table for a long time each and every day? Um, seriously, just tweet me, at Joey DeMush. And if, you, if anybody's watching this and they want any advice whatsoever, I mean, I've been there, so I can definitely give anybody some advice in, 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 uh, you know, to, to try to get healthier because uh, I know how hard it is. And, um, it's, it's hard, but uh, if anybody wants any advice, like I said, just contact me and I'll help you out as best I can. All right, and thanks again for your time today, Joey, and best of luck on day two and the rest of BPO.